Hey guys, I'm 13 here, and people complain that when I walk, my head, uh, I look around too quickly, and it makes people dizzy watching my videos, or I'm just walking with the sunglasses on. So today I'm going to try to keep my head really still, and not look around left and right. It's going to be difficult. There's my dog, Xiaomi. Xiaomi! Where is she? Xiaomi! Xiaomi! Anyways, we're going to the night market. Zhongli, the city that I live in, it's a, it's a pretty crappy city by Taiwan standards, but it does have a few good things, one of them being uh, old people doing dancing. Sometimes I come to this window, just watch. I like the window because if I crouch down, I can watch them and they can't see what I'm doing with my hand or below my waist. Works out well. All right, I feel like a pervert already. Let's head out. Show me. Uh, and one interesting thing you should take note of is we're heading, in, that's the night market up ahead there. And my dog is nowhere to be seen for one thing and not on a leash for another thing. So I'm gonna walk into this crowd of hundreds and hundreds of people with my dog not on a leash. And that's fine, because that's what I always do. Uh, there's, there's a good chance, especially if I'm focusing on the video, that I will lose her. <laughs> but all I need to do to find her again is just walk back and forth on the street calling out her name and she'll hear me and she'll come to me. Yeah, anytime this year, Xiaomi. Xiaomi! I kind of wanted to leave her at home for this, but like I said, it's been raining for the last two weeks, so she's been stuck in the house too, so I thought I'd... She's probably feeling a bit pent up. So this is where you would normally walk out here, but all the scooters have blocked it in. Let's see if we can get off the sidewalk further up ahead. <laughs> uh, I guess you can. Gigantic space here. What is my dog doing? We're going into the night market. Is that okay with you? Sometimes you get performers here at the, at the entrance. My God. And everybody kind of walks in, uh, like this side, on this side of the night market, everybody walks in this direction. And on that side over there is the exit, so they walk in this direction. We are going to go the opposite way. It's what I always do, even when I'm not recording. Because, Xiaomi! Because that way I get to check out the, the girls. Like, I get to look at people. If you're walking with the crowd, all you do is stare at the back of the guy in front of you's head. Oh my God, she's being bad today. Xiaomi, come on, keep up with me. Keep up, keep up. <laughs> but yeah, it makes sense, right? If you walk against the crowd, you get to check out all the... If there's two girls and whatnot, you get... Not only do you get to check them out, you get to see all of them. You get to see... Because if I... If the safe is 500 people here and they're all walking in a circle going the same direction and I'm the only person walking the opposite direction, then in a very short amount of time I get to check out all 500 people. If I was walking with the group, I'd get to see like 10 of them, that's it. Just the people that are directly in front of me and the people that are directly behind me. There were snakes on the left there, but they, they, they don't like it when you record. I think they even have a sign that says no. Oh, I can show you. In the cages there, they're filled with snakes. They usually have a sign saying no pictures because animal cruelty activists give them, give them hassle. Them. It's like Western donuts. How am I doing? Am I shaking my head less than usual? Toys. Uh, interesting fact about Lego is the, the, their patent, the patent for Lego blocks ran up recently, like it, it expired. So that means you're legally allowed to copy them. You can, you can, because they had a patent on Lego bricks. But now you, anyone in the world can make Lego bricks that are exactly the same as Lego bricks. And it's legal because their patent expired. They can't put the name on it, but you know, they put a different name. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, tofu. There's stinky tofu over there, and it is the. Oh my god. I wish. Oh, I got it. Oh, excuse me. Oh my god. That doesn't. Like. 
stinky tofu smells like it smells like poop. But that was like super stinky tofu. It smelled like bad diarrhea. Like really. Like it smelled like a. Oh. Uh, I like Asian style clothes. I like this stuff. Anything that makes me look more Asian, I, I actually enjoy it. This stuff's not cheap though, believe it or not. Like, Western clothing is cheap. With, you still with me, Xiaomi? Yes! Yes, you are! I've, I've actually never tried this before. I've never tried it. It's some kind of small like snail or clam or something and then they put it in, a, in some kind of a broth and keep it hot. I think they're spicy. Most of them are spicy. So you, you pick up each like individual snail and you suck out the snail or whatever and you just drop the shell. I, I feel guilty. There was a, a a place on the left where they play games, and when I looked, the guy made eye, eye contact with me, and I immediately feel guilty because he had zero customers, and I and we made eye contact, and then and then he said, "Do you want to try?" And I'm like, "Uh, uh." I usually just like scream and run at that point. I usually throw my wallet at them and then just run because I feel so I feel I feel bad. Like there's you know they're standing there for hours, and maybe they got no customers. They got to pay the rent just like I do. See, this is totally the right way. Walk in the opposite direction of everyone. <laughs> it's funny because everyone's just like, that idiot's walking the wrong way. It's like, man, this is the way you're supposed to do it. <laughs> yeah, batteries are all good. Good to go. This is a pretty simple game. It's just nails on a board and then you take a ball and you flick flick the ball up and then if you get like uh, five or six balls in a row then you uh, win. The son got this last time he was here. It's like, they're like lollipops but it's actually a plastic bag on top and you have to puncture the bag and then suck the juice out. It's kind of like jello on a stick, kind of. It's a little bit liquidy. It's not solid solid. <laughs> What a good dog, man. I'm impressed by her. Like, seriously. Look at you! Look at you! These are just traditional Taiwanese, traditional Taiwanese snacks. Get a table for them. A friend of mine who's Taiwanese said that when she was young, she was really poor and she pretty much like lived off stuff like this. Whenever she could get her hands on a coin, like she would just go and buy some kind of snack like that. Sorry. I actually buy my socks and underwear at night markets because it's the cheapest you can it's the cheapest you can find, cheaper than any anywhere. Good girl, tell me. You're being so good. Ooh. Coral. Anybody want some coral algae to... I was, gonna say, I was gonna say drink and then I was gonna say eat. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's drink. I think it's some kind of ice drink. Hello. Hello. Are you guys checking out the stuff? I don't know. Man. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to be point, looking to my left, right, forward. Just really concentrating and not looking around too much, not shaking the, shaking the camera. Transforms by himself. That's pretty cool. Am 
matter how old I get, I still enjoy going into toy stores. Mainly to look at the little kids, because I'm a pervert. No, I'm kidding. No, I, I, I still enjoy looking at toys and seeing what new toys there are. And... <laughs> that was a joke. But yeah, I enjoy going to toy stores and looking at toys. That's video games. Yeah. And they might be... I don't know if they're... No, they're in the boxes, so... Usually, sometimes they'll be in the box and then you'll have a binder for the illegal ones. Like, they'll have a binder just with like a list and you point to a name of a game. Oh, they got gambling. They got poker, I guess? Yeah, poker. Beautiful girl, play poker. Come over here, buy her some lingerie, take it over, give it to the poker girl. Everything works out well. Oh, here's pets. Pet store. He's cleaning his hands. Hi, Corgi. <laughs> Chow me, you eating food? I don't mind if she pick if she eats stuff off the off the ground. Some people get really upset. Like, like the rule is that anything is better than dog food. So as long as there's no dog food on the ground, then she can pretty much eat anything else, and it's it's a step up from dog food. And that's what most people give their dogs. So, and bones. People sometimes drop bones, like they're eating chicken legs and stuff. She's not supposed to eat bones. So I got I, I, I got to keep an eye out for bones. But other than that, I don't mind. Hey guys, M13 here. I just saw something funny. A, a cop pulled his car over, and when the cop pulled over to the side of the road, he crashed his car into the open sewer on the side. Like, I don't know what he did wrong, but the car pulled over, and then the cop went into the open sewer just next to him. So here, yeah, check it out. Fucking police. Fucking idiots. Fuck the popo. Look at this guy. How did he even get in there like that? I don't know, man. Like, how does he lose control? The car stopped. Like, he put on a siren. This car pulled over. And then when the cop pulled over somehow, he lost control and went into the, into the ditch. I don't get it.